Hey Pisces! Thank you so much for joining me for your Written in the Stars 5 minute forecast for March. My name is Madeline and I've been studying astrology in Tarot for a little over 20 years and I just kind of want to give you an idea of what kind of energy waves are coming into your life in March so that you can kind of surf them a little better and invite more magic into your life every day. So this is a really exciting kind of rollicking month. We've got Venus going retrograde in the first week of March, but even before that we have an incredibly beneficial aspect that becomes exact on March 2nd. There is an opposition coming between generous Jupiter and revolutionary Uranus on March 2nd that is causing some enormous breakthroughs and sudden evolution. Um, so. Jupiter rules growth, expansion, broadening your horizons in all kinds of ways, and then Uranus is the ruler of like shocking change, sudden breakthroughs, so this this evolution that's coming into your life, it's going to cause a lot of good growth, particularly for you Pisces around your money and other people's money because that happens to be the houses that they're hanging out in respectively. So it's like, do you feel secure? And if you do feel secure, have you felt secure to the point where you feel stagnant or bored? Because this is going to break you out of a rut. Do you feel powerful? Because this is the house of intimacy, sorry, this is the house of intimacy and the other, which is also the house of how powerful you feel. Because it's less politely known as the house of sex, death, and other people's money. So how much of your power do you get from your own self and your own circumstances, your own abilities, your own resources, and how much do you need or want other people to support you in that. Um, big breakthroughs coming through around that. And a really, a really wonderful sense of being freed from restrictions are coming up in the beginning of March. And this is a long-term aspect, so you'll be feeling these benefits for months. But when on the day that they're exact, you can really expect some massive sudden breakthroughs. So really pay attention to what's happening on the second and right around that day. Okay. So um, ask yourself if you feel secure and ask yourself if not, what would make you feel more secure? You're going to be able to examine that and really figure that out. What makes you feel powerful and what makes you feel solid? Um, so this is, um, Jupiter is bringing like the, the, the potential for some amazing recognition and support from other people. Some of you Pisces may be looking for backers or investors and those people could come in and really be like, wow, you have an amazing idea or an amazing skill and we really want to, we want to see you succeed because we feel like we'll be successful as a result. Um, and there's, you could really benefit from sharing your work and your possessions with a partner, whether that's romantic, creative, or business. Um, together, you can really accelerate and make more stuff happen um, a lot more quickly. So you could do very beneficial work sharing resources or experience a steady rise in power and influence from now through October, which is as long as Jupiter is hanging out in this house of yours. Um, okay. So, but on March 2nd particularly, I want to say that there's an opportunity for your personal values and inspirations to become a source of power and income. Um, rebellious Uranus is causing a stir up here, and with Venus going retrograde, that's asking even more questions. And they're really urging you to recognize what you're capable of, and recognize also that it's much more than it once was. You have come very far, and it's time for you to kind of like, like the universe putting the brakes on and making you stop look back, recognize how far you've come, and therefore how much further you can go, okay? So the next thing that's going on is on March 6th, we have Venus going in retrograde, which like I said, people get really jazzed about and excited about one way or the other, like positive, negative. And Venus retrograde, she's really at home in the house of money and values, so this is a nice place for Venus to be. She's gonna be asking, how do you spend and save money? And does it give you pleasure? Both of those things. Do you feel secure? Do you feel confident? Do you feel abundant? Which is what Venus rules. She always wants us to feel pleasure and joy and safety. She wants to feel safe. And this is the house of security. Um, so does your money work for you? Or do you just work for your money? These are questions that you want to ask yourself. How can you make your money work for you? Whether it's like investing or spending in a smarter way so that you can save more and put that money to work for you. Um, review your expenditures and you can really ask yourself some smart questions that lead to really amazing answers that help you 
lift up your, not just your net worth, but your self-worth, both of which are ruled by this house, okay? So what brings you a return on investment? Venus brings abundance in gifts, so when you give gratitude for what you have, you also allow her to do more of her magic. So the other really important thing for you to do is, again, review and be like, wow, look what I have around me, look what I've created, or look what I have caused, or look what I have earned, I should be really proud of myself. Give yourself that love, that pleasure, and that acknowledgement, okay? Because that's like, if you were running around doing a bunch of work for somebody and that person never ever said thank you or acknowledged any of what you had done for them, you would start to feel pretty resentful. So stop feeling resentful of yourself by giving yourself the gratitude and acknowledgement that you deserve, okay? Okay, so <laughs> the next thing is on March 10th, Motivated Mars, the planet of energy, action, motivation, moves into your house of thoughts and communications, urging you to speak up, network, and really connect with people. Really put your thoughts out there, really learn and teach. You really are excited about learning this month, so this would be a really good time to take on a new topic or sign up for a course or a class, or just start hanging out with people who like to talk about what you like to talk about. Um, community is gonna be really important. If you need to promote or pitch your work, this is gonna be a fantastic time for it. You've got the energy, you've got the motivation, and you're very, like I said, you're very ready and eager to learn and to teach. So get out there, share your ideas. It's gonna bring you some great benefits. Um, so the next thing, on March the 12th, there's a full moon rising in your house of partnerships. And full moons bring either crises or culminations. And I don't want the word crisis to worry you. The moon represents our unconscious, our feelings, our memories. And often when a full moon rises in a certain house, it's because what is ruled by that house, in your case, um, partnerships, has either been ignored or it's just there is something that needs your attention that you haven't noticed yet and the moon is kind of like, hey, like you need to notice me now, like I really need you to actually now notice me and pay attention and do something about this, okay? So if a feeling of like a little bit of overwhelm strikes you, don't worry and don't take that as a barometer of like, oh God, everything's going wrong. It's not that. It's that your emotions are at a high, okay? But do notice what happens on the 12th and on the 48 hours preceding and following the 12th because those can give you some really big clues as to what you want from your partnership, what you don't want from your partnership, and the issues around your partnerships. Again, that can be your spouse or partner, or that can be a creative partner, a business partner, any one-on-one -on -one very deep connections, okay? Um, so ask yourself, is there enough give and take? Uh, make things clear, get things out on the table, don't be tempted to sweep things under the rug to keep the peace, okay? Um, okay, so notice what triggers you when it comes to partnerships and you're gonna get some good ideas about like here are lessons that I can take forward with me so that my partnerships are happier in the future and here's what I can improve to make them happier right now today. Okay, have some clear, open discussions and be willing to really look at yourself and your partner with love, but also with clear eyes. Okay, see things for what they are and don't be afraid to address them. Okay, so here's when the party really gets started in your house of money about halfway through the month when Mercury moves in on March 14th, followed a week later on the 21st by the sun and then a week after that, the new moon will rise in your house of money and values. And the new moon in Aries is always really important because it is the astrological new year. New moons are new beginnings, and this one takes place on the spring equinox. So it's all kinds of like blossoming energy. Spring has sprung, it's time to spring into action. Winter is over and things are starting to grow and blossom. And so this is a magnificent opportunity for you to have a new beginning around your money and around your sense of personal confidence and security. Um, and all of these moving in here really reactivates that Jupiter-Uranus opposition. So you're examining your self-esteem. You're examining your worthiness. Like, do I feel worthy of making more money? Do I feel worthy of having better things and of having better partnerships even? Um, your worthiness is like getting a major spotlight this month. Acknowledge your value, examine it, accept recognition and resources that people wanna give you for that. That's so important. Um, get it from others and also give it to yourself, okay? Um, you must appreciate yourself for what you bring to the table. 
And when you really do recognize and appreciate yourself and allow other people to appreciate you to the extent that you deserve, um, you really give yourself an okay. That appreciation, I use that in the financial sense and in the, the normal mundane sense. You deserve to be appreciated, i.e. given the love and the payment that you're due for what you do. And when you allow yourself to accept that, you really open yourself up to this massive, massive level up for your money, your confidence, and the way that you empower yourself. You're really empowering yourself in March if you so choose Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope this is helpful and I would love to hear what you think. If you have questions or if you have insights you want to share about your reading, I'd love to hear from you in the comments or if you want to find me on social media, I've linked that stuff in the description below. And if you'd like me to take a personal look at your chart and tell you what aspects are most affecting you, you can also book a one-on-one -on -one with me. I would love that. My shop is linked below. Thank you so much again for joining me. I hope you have a wonderful month and I hope to see you in April. Bye Pisces!